what's up, internet? So, nanonood ka ng Hardware Sugar, you're most likely interested in tech. Ang problema, you know, sometimes we get things wrong, or sometimes medyo busy lang sa shop, so we can't produce, you know, a lot of videos right away. And so, itong video na to, parang pag-usapan natin, who else should you watch? Or sino yung mga foreign YouTubers na dapat mong pakinggan? Pero bago nun, dapat makinig ka talaga sa sponsor natin because they have something called Unbreakable Internet. Usong-uso ngayon yung mga work-from-home meetings, making business connections, lahat yun online na ngayon. Ang problema, di mo maasahan yung internet. Kaya para iwas sakit sa ulo at matuloy ang asenso sa negosyo, kailangan mo yung unbreakable internet ni Bidu. Sinisigurado nila na palagi kang may backup internet connection so kung may mangyari sa isa, safety ka pa rin. No more drop meetings, no more embarrassing reconnection status, just reliable internet 100% of the time. For organizations with growing IT needs, they can also provide managed IT solutions. Outsource your IT needs to Bidu so you can focus on the needs of your business without having to worry if your server is down. Bidu, the next level internet, worries about the technical stuff so you don't have to. Book now for a free consultation and use our promo code to be eligible for a free video conference solution or work from home kit. So we won't be grading these guys kasi sino ba naman ako para i-grade yung mga tech YouTubers na to na you know they've been doing it for years but just so we can differentiate them we're going to have a scale from entertaining to informative and dalagay natin sila isa't isa doon sa scale na yon Our first YouTuber that we recommend is malamang naririnig mo na si Linus or Linus Tech Tips Linus Sebastian is the OG tech YouTuber there might have been some people before him, but he's one of the longest lasting and he certainly parang siya yung pinakasikat na tech YouTuber. I saw a study before na madalas na yung mga videos ni Linus, usually sila yung mga most watched of the year. And that's amazing since, you know, he's really basically PC tech. Hindi siya yung mas mainstream tech like uh, mobile phones or things like that. The nice thing about Linus is that he has the resources to really do a lot of interesting videos. And daming brands na lumalapit sa kanya para, uy, try mo naman ang product na to. Um, like, or some like really crazy out there stuff like quantum computing. Or even just very down to earth things like, may video siya na what kind of setup produces the most dust. Or kumbaga yung, you know, we have these different kinds of cases, the different kinds of fans. And depending on how we configure the fans, which setup will have the least amount of dust. So he did that. He set aside several computers, and then pinatakbo talaga niya for one year or some long amount of time. And then after that, chinek talaga niya which case had the least amount of dust. You know, he'll do studies on AIOs. He'll do crazy projects like that. Yun yami, me resources na siya to do these kind of experiments and. We'll put him on the very middle of the scale. Linus is very good at being informative. Marami ka ring mapupulot na tech information sa kanya. But at the same time, he's also entertaining. Like, sikat na sikat yung mga segues niya to the sponsors. He does corny jokes. Yung nga, infamous yung first ever video niya na he turns around in a chair and then he accidentally, pero sa jata talaga yun, na tumama siya sa monitor or tumama sa desk or something like that. Sikat din siya kasi kung ilang computer parts na yan na nahulog niya. Some by accident, but I'm sure, you know, some of it is just hamming for the camera. So, sobrang polished na yung persona ni Linus, yung personality niya sa YouTube. And he's able to deliver a lot of tech info in an informative package. And he's very good at condensing the information para hindi ganun kahaba yung mga videos niya. Yung next YouTuber natin, opposite naman. Sobrang informative, medyo doesn't care so much about entertaining and his videos can run very long steve from gamers nexus is actually sobrang ibang klase yung mga technical details na pinapublish ni steve sa youtube channel niya yung sobrang nakakabilib kay steve he's not just concerned with what is measured but how is it measured yung temperatures ng coolers how does the voltage affect that how does the ambient temperature affect that how does the airflow affect that and these are just very simple things. He also goes into the very nitty-gritty of how everything is measured so that patas lahat, it's a fair game. Fair to compare this cooler against this cooler, fair to compare AIO versus air cooling. Tapos hindi lang yun, yung mga PSUs, everything about all of the components of a computer. 
he really cares about how do we measure things so that fair yung comparison para magamit yung viewer, yung information na binibigay ko. And so, some people criticize Steve, or actually dito sa Hardware Sugar, we call him Gamer Jesus because ang haba ng buhok ni Steve, he kind of looks like some of the pictures of uh, Jesus na, you know, mahaba yung buhok. But uh, ako talaga hanga ako kay Gamer Jesus. He really, he, he spends a lot of time figuring out how to measure things. And some people criticize him for that na ang haba naman ng videos mo, you know, parang nakakaantok. But, you know, when he says something about the tech, people really listen. Just very recently, he came out with a video regarding proper placement of AIO and saan dapat yung radiator in position to the CPU block. These very technical things, gamay na gamay talaga ni Steve. And I really appreciate the effort he puts into it and I really look forward to his videos. And they can be as long as he needs, I will still watch. Kabilang dulo naman ng scale, sobrang entertaining naman na sometimes, you know, con kulang or medyo bitin yung information na binibigay niya si Bitwit. Bitwit uh, or Kyle from Bitwit is very good at these reaction videos. It's parang sobrang ang galing niya mag-OA para sa camera. It's like, you know, she's like, oh my god, you know, yan yung yan yung setup mo, parang bat mo ginawa yan and things like that. So Kyle is very natural at hamming it up for the camera. And no, don't get me wrong, his videos are also informative, but Compared to the first two guys, I would really classify him more as entertaining. Like when I go to Bitwit, I'm not really looking for specific tech information. It's more like, oh, ano kung ano tong kalakuhan na ginawa ni Kyle ngayon. Case in point, may parang alter ego siya na Lyle, na parang very, <laughs> very stereotype Chinese personality. So it's with the accent and things like that. Na um, parang galit na galit si Lyle kay Kyle. The fact that he has this alter ego and that it's popular online, you know, demonstrates nga na he's very good at being entertaining for the camera. Your reaction videos niya, like your reaction video niya kay Henry Cavill building a computer, reaction video niya sa infamous Verge build. So, yung reaction videos niya sa mga setups ng viewers niya, yun, all of those are very entertaining. Entertaining, at the same time, may mapapulot ka naman. But definitely not as much or not as dry as the tech info from someone like Gamers Nexus, for example. More on the informative side rather than entertaining is Paul from Paul's Hardware. Paul from Paul's Hardware talks like this. Sobrang measured, sobrang relaxed, sobrang mellow, sobrang chill. And he does have a lot of tech information. He doesn't worry too much about being boring or having very flashy things going on in his videos. It's more just him talking to the camera about tech and he's very chill. Actually, sobrang gusto ko yung tono ni Paul's hardware. If you notice, most of my videos, I'm very pak 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 Sobrang bilis ko magsalita. But si Paul, Paul has a very even tone. He's always just talking like this. And I appreciate that and he does provide a lot of tech information. So usually, pinapanood ko si Paul when I just want to chill out. Pag sobrang stress sa Hardware Sugar, sa shop, sa YouTube channel, daming mga requests, and daming mga customers with problems, I turn on a bit of Paul's hardware and I just relax. Because really, PC hardware can be just mellow. Sometimes, you want to kill your computer. You want to jump on your motherboard, you want to toss your CPU into the garbage can, yung GPU mo na sobrang mahal, gusto mo ihampas sa pader kasi ba't hindi ka gumagana? Anong problema ng leching drivers mo? But when you watch Paul's hardware, you're reminded that just chill out bro, just relax. And that's why. Medyo yung opposite ni Paul is Jay-Z Two Cents. And I put him more sa entertaining rather than informative. Actually, sikat na sikat si Jay-Z Two Cents. Uh, you know, a lot of people recommend him. Ako personally though, parang palagi siyang pissed off dun sa brands, dun sa build niya, dun sa... Ako ko. Parang palaging inis si Jay-Z Two Cents. And so that's sort of the opposite of Paul na who's always sobrang relaxed naman. Jay-Z Two Cents provides a lot of information. Actually, he's a very good modder. In particular, parang yung mga custom water builds niya. Kahit yung ibang tech YouTubers, mupunta kay Jay-Z Two Cents to ask his opinion on water cooling. Also, medyo sikat siya kasi yung ibang artista sa States parang lumalapit sa kanya for custom build. So, he's a very good modder. Actually, some of his videos I, I, I've liked for my own feed kasi uh, like how to paint a case and then how to 
add an LCD display to any build, parang ganon. So mga modding techniques like that that I find very interesting. And he, yun nga, all of these guys naman you will 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 provide you decent tech info. It's just that I find Jay Z more entertaining because sa mga super tech overload information again like unlike Steve for example sa Gamers Nexus nan dami talagang parang every 10 seconds may pinapalabas si Steve na statistic si JC2 cents yun nga mas uh, mas entertaining for me and yun nga yung persona niya sa YouTube medyo na off ako eh yun nga parang palagi siyang galit i again it's a personal thing and you know you're free to disagree with me but and and, and it doesn't stop me from watching him i, I do find him very useful also Mostly for the modding videos. Sometimes also when I'm in the mood, when I'm annoyed, it's also nice to be somebody just pissed off at a particular brand. Because if I'm in the hardware. And you know, Jay Z Two Cents is your guy for that. <laughs> Lahat ng mga nabanggit kong YouTubers, parang Team A yung mga yan. Sa basketball, kung may Team A, sila talaga yung mga pinaka stars. I think you know all of the guys I mentioned so far, Team A sila. Tapos yung thing sa Team A, lahat sila magkakaibigan. Parang they all, they're all chums, they all get together. Like for example, si Paul at si Bitwit, palagi may live stream yan together. JZ Two Cents and Gamers Nexus had a contest recently na pabilisan ng pag-diagnose ng computer. And yun, si JZ Two, the wife of JZ Two Cents gave him a Tumblr. Tapos yung Tumblr galing pala sa merchandise store ni Linus. So all of the Team A guys sort of know each other and they kind of pal around together. Um, kasama yun sa persona nila sa internet na lahat sila makakaibigan. And it is fun to see the the crossover videos that they do together. Pero kung may Team A, may Team B. Hindi naman sa all at si Team B, like uh, wala silang alam. Pero it's more like just in terms of visibility, sino mas sikat, mas sikat talaga si Team A. But there are some Team B guys, tas ganun din yung format nila. Like, they all know each other, they all pal around together. And I don't watch a lot of the Team B guys. Like, I watch some of them, but not all of the time. But one of them that I would really recommend is Greg Salazar. Um, yung mga kay Greg, he's sort of a mix of everything. Medyo gitna siya ng informative, chaka entertaining. He does a lot of tech videos. Some of them are very informative. One video I really remember from him is how he talks about the thermal science behind AIOs. It's super interesting, super fascinating. I'll try to link it here if I can still find it. Actually, most of the Team B guys are also quite good, but I would recommend Greg Salazar in particular. Ito, my last recommendation is hindi talaga siya kasama sa Team B. Medyo offshoot siya ni Gamers Nexus. Yung name ng channel niya is actually Hardcore Overclocking. He has a really interesting accent. To be honest, I can't place it. I, I, I can't tell if it's Brit or this kind of Canadian accent. I'm really not sure. I haven't done any research. And I, I'm, I think he collaborates with Gamers Nexus, but I'm not, also not sure on the extent of that collaboration. But his videos are super technical. Like, there's this one video I like na parang tinutusok-tusok lang niya yung GPU with a voltage meter to see kung saan yung sira. Or like, I bought... 10 GPUs second hand and I'm gonna test them kung ano yung sira, ano yung hindi. But as he talks, yung isang video din na sobrang galing, parang he's just looking at the new B550 MOBOs. Dun lang sa spec sheet dun sa manufacturer's website. And then from there, he can already tell na, ah, ito maganda yung design because the cooling is here. The MOSFET is on, you know, it's, it's separate and you can see that, you know, there are high quality capacitors and things like that. So just by looking at something at a motherboard, he can already tell like this is a good design, this is a bad design. Very low, like he's also just like Gamers Nexus, he doesn't bother with the bells and whistles or yung mga palamuti ng ibang YouTubers. And you very rarely see him on screen actually. It's more like just his voice and very basic graphics if at all. Pero marami kang mapupulot doon. Sobrang tech, sobrang tech oriented si actually extreme Hardcore overclocking, or even the name is a mouthful, okay? Medyo cumbersome yung name. But, uh, yun, I, I recommend him. He wouldn't be considered Team A. He's also not part of the club of Team B, but he is very fascinating for the, the tech information that you receive. So, yun, sobrang basic rundown ng mga sikat na tech YouTubers. If you follow tech, you have probably watched some of those guys. You're probably subscribed to a lot of them. And of course, since we have a list of foreign YouTubers, we will also do for another video a list of local YouTubers. Sino ba okay sundan dito sa local tech YouTuber scene? 
Of course, sana kasama ako sa listahan na yon. If you want to, if you know, if you think our videos are useful, please do subscribe to Hardware Sugar. We're trying to hit 100,000 subs soon so that I can stop obsessing about it. And actually curious ako, where would you rate Hardware Sugar doon sa scale natin? Sa informative at entertaining, saan mauulog si Hardware Sugar? Feeling ko people would put us more doon sa informative kaysa sa entertaining. Because we don't do reaction videos, uh, corny ako, so hindi ako nagpapajoke masyado. Sometimes I do joke, but it's very dry humor, which isn't to the taste of everyone. But I find it funny, but anyway. Um, so ayun, where, let us know in the comments where you would rate us. More informative, more entertaining, or just like, wala kang alam, di ka na dapat nag-YouTube. Thanks for watching.